Hi guys, welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I would actually like to show you guys again something complete new. I want to give you guys some hints and tips and talk a little bit about this image and point you in a little bit into the direction what I think they've done to this image. So then again this image is not from my work. This image is from a website. I pulled it from Vogue stuff. So please have a look in the description down below. There's a link to this work and guys please this is not my work. Okay, so let's get started on this. First of all, what I think that they have done to this image, pretty simple, most fashion, very hard lighting, very direct. As you guys can see here with the shadows, let me just quickly create a new layer. As you guys can see on the shadows already, very hard shadows, so most probably very hard and direct lighting at the model. Okay, so that is obviously your first shot, boom, out of the camera. And it might have looked a little bit flat, so what they've done to most of it, First of all, again, then just cleaning, healing, cloning, all of that stuff, getting the skin looking really, really nice. Then also added most probably a few adjustment layers and also a few techniques just to get the whole skin very soft and have a very nice, subtle, soft skin. As you guys will also find down here in my beauty training, you can see some of my techniques, how to get a complete soft skin. Okay, so I guess they done that to the image, then obviously added a little bit of some nice curves to the image, so they get a really nice contrasty skin over here with some nice blacks. As you guys can see, the skin looks very, very controlled. And also, I guess they used a lot of dodge and burning again. So most probably uh, just a simple layer filled with a complete gray over here. I'm just going to quickly fill this layer. 50% gray, OK. Changing the blending option to down somewhere to soft light or overlay. Always depends on how hard you want it. If you want it to be overlay, it most probably was a little bit harder. Soft light, it was a little bit softer. I'm going to work with soft light because this image is also pulled from the web. It's not a high quality image. I just want to do very subtle moves on this and also just point some stuff out again. Okay, so most probably use the brush over here with a opacity of say 7%, 5%. Not even more than that. And also I'm going to press Ctrl Alt now just to make my brush super soft. Feather that completely. Okay, and then make it a little bit smaller. What I guess they did with these images here again on the dodge and burning side. As you guys can see the light is very nice over here. Most probably added just a little bit of dodging over here. Then also down here a little bit. Then they have also dodged this everywhere where you can see it. You can especially see it here on the neck where you can see how it looks very bright over here. So most probably they dodged this a little bit over here. Then especially in the face as well you can see. Let me just change my brush size here red again. On here you can see on the lips a very nice grade on the lips. Then also under the chin here you have a nice spot over there. And also some nice lighting over here. So that has been dodged a little bit I guess. Okay, over here also the face a little bit and also then again burned a little bit in here as you guys can see. So on my dodge and burn layer I could actually show you guys this effect. Let me just change my foreground color back to white with X and D and then also my opacity back to 0.7. So over here with the brush again very soft just dodge these areas a little bit and also around the lips just to create a little bit of more detail or a bit more texture around the whole face. Then again change to black foreground color here and you can also burn these edges a little bit and also create a really nice shaped person here. Okay, so I guess loads of dodge and burning again then as well as you guys can see here on the arm a little bit of uh, dodging again. So they most probably used a nice dodge and burn layer as you guys can see here on my gray layer just to get a little bit of more punchiness into some certain areas. They didn't overdo it, just very very subtle moves. Okay, then as well with the whole yellow cushion here and the water, I guess they most probably, it looked a little bit flat. So what they've added is most probably a new fill layer, solid color over here. Use the blending options to go to color. Say OK that. They've chosen say a yellow because the cushion was most probably yellow, but they wanted a bit more punchier. So they used a dark yellow over here. OK. And that is now in a new mask here. Invert the mask so it's hidden. And now you can basically actually just paint this mask back. So I'm just going to change my foreground colors here back to white. Okay, foreground colors white on a black mask and then also with say a 60% opacity or you can brush with 100% and then again change your mask over here and change the opacity down. But I guess they also use this 
effect so they're painting in the yellows over here if I go over the shadows they will obviously go green now but just showing it to you guys out again used a little bit of that yellow and also made a really nice punchy yellow then also on the water here with the blue most probably use the same as will another fill layer and fill that with a little bit of blue once they're done with all of that, obviously cleaning, getting the colors right and everything, having the skin looking that contrasty and really punchy, they most probably saturated the image a little bit more so it has just more color and more vibrance. And then again, some more curves layers and maybe some levels adjustment layers just to get the right feel for this image. And these are all very, very subtle moves. No hard adjustments, just one small layer with a few percentages of tweaking, then again a new layer tweaking just a certain area, masking out certain areas. That's how I would retouch this. Then also, again, most probably to the end, maybe a last layer over here, adjustment layer with selective color, as you guys can see here. Selective color in the neutrals and just played a little bit with the cyan and magentas, yellows and blacks and just tweaked the image a little bit again. So yeah, that was my quick tutorial for today. I hope you guys like this. If you do like these tutorials, please give me a thumbs up. If you think this is complete nonsense, then hit the dislike button. I'm keen to see what you guys think about these tutorials. Thank you guys for watching and see you all in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.